2022 Wicked Big Meat. Here we go. We're on our way. Stafford Motor Speedway. I mean, this is just going to be nuts. Got the 1991 Subaru Sandbar all packed up. We're here today going to see 845 Subi, which is the Facebook group for my local. And we're going to see the Sandbar Squad, which is the Facebook group for just everyone who owns a Sandbar. It was a beautiful day in June and a beautiful day for a ride. I had about 100 miles plus because I had to take the back roads. It was going to be about a two and a half hour trip for me to go from Hudson Valley, New York to Stafford Springs, Connecticut. Of course, the alternator had to go the night before, probably from me detailing it, probably from me shorting it out. At the last minute, my amazing wife decided that I should take the extra battery with me, and oh boy, did I need it. I actually broke down at the end of that trip, right at the gate of Stafford Springs Motor Speedway. After all, we made it, and man, this was deep. This car show was at least a quarter mile on both sides of just nothing but Subaru. This was my first car show with the Sandbar. I didn't come to win. I came here to have a good time and meet up with some Subaru enthusiasts. It was still early morning. Everyone was setting up their rides, cleaning off their glass and their front bumpers and their wheels from all the driving they just did. Grimspeed was sponsoring the car show, and they didn't disappoint this year. Really brought some awesome builds out. You had your cosmetic builds. You had your performance builds. You had your wacky builds. It was just everything all in one. I brought my K truck. There was a K car, and there was a right-hand drive Forester there. Check out how perfect the lighting is for these cars today. It was amazing. Shout out to the sponsors. There's no way I'm getting you all. There's IAG, there's Killer B, there's Cobb, there's Enos, there was T-Mobile, there was Motul. A lot of FRS, a lot of BRZ. It was really good to see that out. And you know, I love me some blob eyes and I spotted a couple. Well, two. Do you have the, uh, do you still have the old BBS or? No. Okay. I've got, I've still got my BBs. Nice, yeah, I wish I did. I... The paint was so clean on this. It even has paint on the hood scoop still. That's how you can tell. It's really nice. This is Evan S's STI, and you can check out his profile on the Wicked Big Meat profile page. This thing has a lot done to it. IAG Stage 2 Short Block. Refurbished heads. It's got the IAG Oil Pickup. ETS top mount, a lot of Perrin and Cobb parts, which you gotta love, and it was built by Prime Motor. This caught my eye immediately. This is Howard J's Factory 5. Now this is from a 2003 Subaru, so this is a 2 liter with an air to water intercooler. This has to retain all the evaporative emissions, so you have to have a smaller charcoal canister, which is to the right here. I've seen these built on Grassroots Motorsports way back in the day, I believe it was the 818. This was the first ever kit that I got to see in person. Looking back, the event should have been two days long. I just don't think there was enough time in the day. There was so much going on. Of course, you want to see all the cars and talk to everyone, but there's an event going on too. So we have to stop by the 845 Subi tent and we have to stop by Sambar Squad tent. If you're in the New York 845 area, come check out 845 Subi on Facebook. If you have a Subi or you're interested in them, it's a great group with a great group of people. So I grabbed some more decals, hung out with some crew, and then let's check out the Sandbar Squad. Their tent setup was awesome. They had a dog pool and they had all types of cool little JDM merch. This Sandbar in particular belonged to the one and only Sammy the Sandbar. What a clean example. This thing's been rebuilt, completely modernized. It even has the talking Japanese backup alarm. I wish I got a shot of it, but of course, all my camera gear and my cards were going dead. That's just how it happens. 
If you own a sandbar, check out the Facebook group, Sandbar Squad. Really though, the helpfulness, everything on here, these guys have been modifying these extensively for years. They know part numbers, they know little tricks about them. Get in there, introduce yourself, you have a really good time modifying and having fun, even maintaining your sandbar. This is the Sandbar Diaz Classic Van, which is the van version of our sandbar trucks. This was very clean, very well maintained, and modified. Off in the distance, I heard the rumblings of what could be none other than the Subaru Vermont sports car, Air Slayer. I thought I had the worst seats in the house for this, being at the car show at the other end, but I guess not after Travis came around and did this. Big shout out to Colin from Subaru for giving me that Travis Pastrana limited edition Wicked Big Meat shirt. Love it. Unfortunately, I didn't get to get any video of his runs. Dai Yoshihara, who I enjoy watching on the GT channel way back on YouTube, they supposedly had some tandem run, I guess, where him and Travis with the Air Slayer did something, but this BRZ is just gorgeous. And Dai Saigo was there too, from old Formula D runs. Travis Pastrana was there right behind this Air Slayer signing autographs, which a line was out the door. Bucky Lassick, same thing. Dai Yoshihara, Dai Saigo, just signing. Guys, let's face it, I know they're paid to be here at the event. It might be in their contract too, but let's face it, these guys were sitting there signing, little kids smiling, they were getting up, taking pictures with them, sitting back down, signing the pictures. Subaru people there talking with them. Really awesome that these guys did this. They're really legendary for taking the time out. They really got the fans to have their moment with them. And I thought that was really cool that they each stuck around and did that.